Hello, are you ready to rise and shine? Because today we're thinking not about Jesus rising from the dead, but Jesus rising up into heaven. Because 40 days after Easter is what we call Ascension Day, the day when Jesus goes up, ascends into heaven. So, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let's rise and shine. And worship God. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Well, it's a beautiful day today and hardly a cloud in the sky. We've got a picture of a cloud in the sky which looks like Jesus' cross. I wonder if you can make it out. It's been sent in by Jenny, one of the grown-ups at St. Lawrence's Church. And that makes a good introduction to our Bible story, which is read by Chris Chalmers, who's training to be a minister, and she did some training here at St. Lawrence's. And she's accompanied by a mini orchestra from St. Lawrence's Church Infant and Junior Schools. This was recorded in church a couple of years ago. Jesus' disciples and friends had been very sad when he had died on the cross. But then Jesus rose from the dead and appeared to them several times. Hallelujah! He even let them touch the scars the nails had made in his hands. feet, and the wounds the spear had made in his side. Although they were happy to have him back with them, they knew he would eventually leave them. Forty days after Jesus had ridden, risen from the dead, the, the, the day came. Jesus and his eleven disciples had been eating together when Jesus said, Stay here in Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit. Then he led them out of the city to Bethany and up a hill. He told them that once they had received the Holy Spirit, they were to go out into all the world and tell people about God. He lifted up his hands and blessed them. Then he was taken up into heaven before their very eyes. And the cloud hid him from their sight. This is called the ascension of Jesus. We remember it today, the 40th day after Easter. The disciples knew that although they could go no longer, no longer see Jesus, he was always there to help them. Hallelujah! And the Holy Spirit did come down on them ten days later. Hallelujah! And he is still here to help us today.
we're going to we're going to hear that all again, but without the words. So you need to follow the story you've just heard, listening to the sounds. So really, really quiet and still for this. Orchestra, are you ready? Yes. Great. the Ascension Day soundscape which was recorded in St Lawrence's Church on Ascension Day two years ago. I wonder if you recognised all the instruments? Well I'll run through them for you now. The Alleluia was with the tambourine. The scars on Jesus' body were with a drum. Two on his hands, two on his feet and one on his side. The shaker represented the feelings. They were happy when Jesus rose from the dead, having died on the cross, but they knew he'd have to leave. And the symbols are the day, 40 days after Easter, when Jesus was going to ascend, go up into heaven. And so he called his 12 disciples together. Now, we use chime bars in church, we borrowed from school but I haven't got any of those at home so I've improvised with a milk bottle and there was one ring for every disciple all of them and then Jesus had said after he'd gone they had to stay in Jerusalem and when the playground whistle goes we all know to stop stop in Jerusalem and the Holy Spirit would come upon them. A little gentle shaker. The Holy Spirit comes like wind and fire. But more of that next week. So, Jesus took the disciples up the mountain. And this is what their feet sounded like. Again, it's with a drum. Or a different type of drum, this one. All their feet going up the mountain. And then he said when the Holy Spirit came upon them, they'd have to tell everybody the good news. The triangle makes a lovely, joyful sound. And Jesus blessed them, so it spells for blessings. And then, this is my favourite one. This is Jesus going up to heaven with the slide whistle.
and then a cloud hid him from sight. And we used a rainmaker when we were in school doing this. But I've had to improvise one. Here's a little one. You can see the rain coming down. Not very good. So I thought, I've got a cardboard tube. I'd try that. Let's see what this one's like. Ooh, heavy rain shower. Light rain. Heavy rain. Now some instruments don't change tone. They just go quiet or loud. But others can change tone. Let's have the slide whistle again. Up. Down. Now I'm going to go over to our piano now because a piano is really good for lots of up and down sounds. And if you look in here, you can see how it makes a noise. Hammers beating against the wires at the back. So I'm going to play a scale up and a scale down. much longer and let's imagine Jesus going up into heaven and disappearing out of sight. We can all have a fun at home making musical instruments. Listen to my rainmaker again. And even pots and pans can make a good sound, but always ask before you get anything out and be careful not to break anything, particularly if you're using glasses and water. And I've been making milk bottle chime bars here. You could do them with glasses and you'll see that the water starts off quite low level and then rises higher. And actually, the fuller it is, the lower the note. I think my piano sounds better. But let's see if I can play a tune on here and let's see if you can recognise it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and we had low notes, and we went up to higher notes. Our song is including going up and coming down. The rain came down and the floods came up, but listen out particularly to the last verse, where the blessings come down as the prayers go up. Dorothea is going to sing the song for us. And then afterwards, Rowena's going to show us how to make a picture where Jesus actually moves and goes up into the clouds. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house on the sand. The foolish man built his house on the sand. The foolish man built his house on the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. 
The rains came down as the floods came up, and the house on the sand went flat. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessings will come down tumbling. The blessings will come as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. Blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your life in Jesus. On Thursday was Ascension Day and we've got a picture here of the Ascension but let's make it a little bit more glamorous. So we need a big piece of paper and recreate the sky and the greenery. So we're going to stick this on here like so. Now Jesus was with his disciples, so we've cut those out and we've coloured the disciples. So we'll put them there, but don't stick it all the way down. So I'm going to use some sellotape. Now here's some just wildflowers. Stick those on. Now what we really need are the clouds. So I've made a couple here, but we'll just do one to show you how to do that. So you need some paper or some card and draw some cloud shapes. And then with the cotton wool, you need to break it into little pieces to make sure that you sticks. So let's, while that one's drying, we'll stick this one onto the sky. And we'll just stick a few flowers on as well. Right now, the big cloud, the big cloud that we've got, I've reinforced it a little bit and we need to stick it at the top there, but we need to leave some room underneath. So I'm going to stick this with sellotape.
Now, here's Jesus. You can see I've cut him from there and coloured him. And I've strengthened the back of that as well. And we're going to stick some thread. Hopefully our other cloud is drying and we'll stick our other cloud on. everything's sticking down because I'm doing this rather quickly. There we are. There we are, 40 days after Easter, Jesus with his friends, the disciples, and he said that he has to go away and go and live with his Father in heaven. So on Ascension Day, he rose up and he went through the clouds oops, and he went to live in heaven with his Father. Oops, the day is it. So hopefully we can rest him on top of the clouds. So on Ascension Day, we remember how Jesus went up out of the sight of the disciples beyond the clouds to be with God in heaven. But he hasn't left us. It's like when the sun goes behind the clouds on a rainy day. It's still there. It's still shining, even though we can't see it. We're going to use the idea of up and down, ascending and descending, in our prayers today. So let's think first of all, who works in a low down place? Well, there are miners and engineers, people laying cables in the ground. And who works in a high up place? Well, there aren't many planes flying at the moment, but there are some. So for pilots and all the crew of aeroplanes, and all who support them. And of course, firemen have to go down the pole to get to their fire engine. And in our Queen Elizabeth Hospital, it reaches up to the skies with the high wards, and then there are more wards as you go down, and then it goes down into a basement. I wonder what's in there. Often it's a laundry or storage space or offices. So lots of people to think about, whether low and under the ground, high up in the air or in a high rise building and everybody in the between. So that's everybody covered, isn't it? Let's pray. Loving Lord, we thank you that you listen to us, that even though we can't see you, you hear our prayers and want to help us. We pray for the safety of all those who work in dangerous places, whether low down or high up or in between. Keep us all safe. Be with those who are going through difficult times, all those who are worried all those we can't see at the moment and give a hug to. Help us to know that your love is like the warm sunshine and can surround us even when it is pouring down. And we pray together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now Elaine is going to sing our blessing prayer for us and then we've got a special treat. Ruby, who was head girl at St Lawrence Church Junior School a couple of years ago, is going to play the piano for us. She's doing her grade six and this is one of her pieces. It's called, and I'm just going to have to check, Together Rail. Take it away, Elaine, and then Ruby. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in thy loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in thy loving care. Thank you. 